Welcome everybody to a motivational video of mine. My name is Andy and today I'm going to talk about why I deserve the scholarship. Now I had a multitude of reasons for applying, first of which I've heard of this guy called Peter Vestabaka, who is the CMO of Anchor Birds and an overseer of Funnys Bay. Now Anchor Birds, it never started out as great, but it eventually evolved into fame into the game that we know and love today. Funnys Bay on the other hand, it is the most successful startup region on the planet. It promotes entrepreneurship and what which is why it attracts so many young people because they want to pursue their careers in technology. Now, it's also a great big gaming hub, which is why it interests me so much. Now on to Finland. This country is known for a lot of things, but perhaps the most well known thing is its happiness. Now Finland has been the happiest country in the world for several consecutive years. How did they pull this out? It's by investing in healthcare infrastructure. Now, Finland is also known for having the greatest education system in the world. It's also the most technol technologically advanced country. Now, for the last reason, it's also a chance for me to become independent and make up my and live my own life because. As for now, I've been living with my parents for a really, really long time. Now, to the eyes of many, I am look like a normal kid, but I'm not. If you were to look at my academic record, you will notice that I have been and still is one of the top students for 8 consecutive years. And I also have extensive knowledge of coding languages such as Scratch, Python, and Java, just to name a few. Remember when I said I'm not normal? I mean it because I had significant development of my left and right brains unlike most people who only had one side of their brain better than the other. Now, achieving this was no easy task because math, science, and coding each requires a lot of brain power which I'm easily depleted of. But eventually, I, I got to where I'm at today, filming this video. I also had 7 years of piano practice. Now, this is a lot considering that most children these days don't know how to play, the, the, play instruments just yet. Just yet. I also had a lot of exposure to technology and AI early on. I'm a gamer and I have been playing Roblox ever since I was since I was three years old. Oh, ever since I was in third grade and I've been learning math on this website called GeniBook which uses the AI to assess you on how you perform and create assignments accordingly. I also have a really loose grip on foreign languages. It's still, Entonces eso es algo de español para ti. There lies a lot of challenges ahead of us, and nobody can avoid them. Now, personally, I had a lot of challenges myself at school, whether it is the final semester exam or just simply being homework. Now, but by far the biggest one I had so far was when I joined the school sponsored talent show. And it might not seem so bad, but I'll tell you in a bit. And like I said, the school's the talent show is school sponsored, which means that it, it will be held on school campus. Now, it, now the school also encourages students with musical talents to join this talent show. At first, I was in ignorant, but eventually, my parents convinced me into joining, which I don't really like to. And right away when I stepped onto the stage when I performed in front of the crowd, you will notice that I had a lot of issues, and you don't even need to be a pianist to know that. First of which, and by far the biggest, I wore a mask, which is completely forbidden and you get and that affects your overall performance. Second of which I was emotionless. If you were to look at my face, I was like this for the whole time. Yes, that was that was it. Now, also I've had I also had a class dance afterwards, and I don't like dancing, which is kind of embarrassing. But to pay it all off, I received my first ever first place prize in my entire life. Obviously, when someone whenever somebody enters a different country, they will have this feeling of shock because of how different it is to their homeland, and no doubt I will have it too because I'll be entering a new country I've never been to before. So to counter this, I'll have to prepare beforehand, especially its climate. So Finland is really very well known, well known for being cold all year round, even in the summer months. So 
I had done thorough research and it shows that even though it's cold, it's still bearable. But even it, but to be extra careful, I would pack more insulated clothes and also public transport and buildings in Finland are well insulated, so I don't have to worry about that. Plus, I already had travel experience in Australia's Mount Waller and Hokkaido in Japan, both of which in their snow seasons. And lastly, homesickness. A lot of people will have this feeling whenever they go they study abroad, so I no doubt I will have it too. So the counter so in today's world, technology is advanced, so I can just call my parents anytime I need support, but if they can't then I can text them. In the worst scenario, however, I can consult the school staff for support in whatever I need. Thank you everybody for watching and hope you have a good day.